Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are taking a look at the new Tom Ford Soleil Cheek Duo. So this is for summer 2022 and this is in the shade number two, Eclat New. And we have 4.4 grams of product. It's made in Italy. It comes with the white dust cover and we have the white packaging here with the gold trim, magnetic closure. There's a sticker on the mirror here with a little you know, peel off spot. And then we have these two sheer blush shades. And these have a gorgeous luminosity to them and like a, a little bit of a sheen, but they don't have any actual sparkle or glitter in them. So they just have this kind of light. So let's make that a little bit thicker so you can see that. Let's put that So we have this like nude shade. It's like a warm nude with a touch of peach. And then this rosy shade here is more of a neutral rose. It actually still leans a little bit warm, but it's obviously much cooler than the top shade here. I have a couple of demos here to share with you. The first one here, I'm using the Refer 04 brush, which is an angled brush. And this is good because the angle here, um, it basically makes it a little bit firmer at one end. So it picks up the product really well, yet you've got that fluffier end to help kind of disperse the product. And on in this demo, I'm showing you one cheek with the top color and one cheek with the bottom color. So you can kind of see what they look like on the skin. The nude one, as you can see, uh, has a little bit more of that nude bronzy look to it. It is not quite the right shade to use as a bronzer. However, if um, you are interested in light bronzing, it can work for that. With, just remember, it does have that luminosity to it as well. So it's not gonna be like totally matte or anything. It's really like a luminous satin finish. And I feel like because of the tones in the nude blush, it's a little bit more evident. You see the sheen a little bit more than you do with the rose. In the next demo, I am applying the nude shade towards the back of the cheekbone and the pink shade towards the front of the cheekbone, closer to the, the apples. And I'm using the Surratt cheek brush, which is a squirrel hair brush. And as you can see, it really does not pick up the pigment very well. These are more firmly pressed in the pan. So the squirrel brush, you know, even after two applications, you can still just very barely see it on my skin. So then I went back in over that and used the Refer 04 brush. And I do feel like with this particular formula, because it is a little bit firmer in the pan and it is very easy to pick up, but you do want to make sure you're using the right kind of brush. So I would definitely recommend something with a little bit more density, even something that is goat, but is a little bit on the fluffier side is still a little bit soft. So you're going to get that more sheer application. If you want to see the color a little bit more, I would definitely recommend something more similar to the Refer 04 or some sort of dense cheek brush. Uh, and I really think angle brushes work really well with this particular type of product. The angle brush allows you to get into the product well without mixing the colors, which, you know, these mixed is really beautiful, I'm sure. But if you don't want to mix them, you know, an angled one, the shape allows you to isolate the colors really well. And again, because we do have one end that's a little bit firmer than the other end, it picks up and applies just very seamlessly. So this would definitely be a brush I would recommend with that. And by the way, Refer is going to be doing 40% off very soon. So um, definitely stay tuned for that if you've been interested in any of their brushes. Now, as for the actual Tom Ford blushes, I have to say I really like the colors. I think they are very stunning on the skin. And let's look at them mixed. All right, so here's a swatch with the two shades mixed. And you can see that actually turns into like a true peach. Let me just get another swatch of that. Look at that. I mean, that's really cool. Um, you know, just how different that is. It doesn't even look like it's necessarily right smack dab in the middle. It really brings out those warmer tones that are in both the rose and the nude shade. 
So definitely a great way to wear that. And so looking at these mix on the cheeks, as you can see, you still have that luminosity shining through and you may or may not want a highlighter with this. You know, I think that it's enough that you don't actually need a separate highlighter unless you want one. And the brush that I'm using here in this demo is the Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush. And this is an undyed goat hair brush. It's a little bit more round. It has an oval ferrule, but um, you know, it's small in shape, it's dense. And if you like to use a more circular motion on the cheeks, this would definitely be a better choice than the Refer 04 just because of the shape of the head. And as you can see that this one is definitely firm enough to really pick up the product and apply it well. So this is another great choice. And again, we have the Beautylish gift card event coming up soon as well. So if this is in stock, it's definitely a great choice. It's one of my favorite blush brushes and you can use it. You can use this and the wrapper with cream or powder products. So they're both very versatile. So let's do some comparisons. We're gonna look at the Tom Ford Blush Duos. This is 01 Brazen Rose. Now these are different formulas. Again, the Soleil is going to be a little bit more uh, sheer and luminous. So this is a more powder. So this is number one, Brazen Rose. I'm just gonna put this right here by the rose shade so you can kind of see what they look like. But you can see that the tones are not gonna be the same. We have more of this dusty rose and more of a peachy rose that's gonna be a lot lighter. Next, we have number two, Explicit Flush. And let's look at this top shade up here near the nude. You can see that, and then here's the peachier shade here, which is more coral. And let me just get a little bit more of this nude shade here. So you can kind of see the difference. The tones are going to be a little bit similar here, but again, the Soleil is going to have that luminosity. It's also a little bit warmer. And if you really pile it on a little bit more pigment tip, just because it's a little bit deeper of a shade in general. Three, Peach Poison. So let's take a look at the peach one down here next to the mix. You can see that those don't quite go. And then here is the browner shade, which has a little bit more red. It's a little bit cooler in tone than the nude shade here. And it's gonna be a little bit deeper as well. We have number four, Cherry Blaze. So let's take a look at these. So let's put this one down there. That's too peach. And we'll put Cherry Blaze over here. It's gonna be more reddish than the rose shade. Number five, Sun Drunk. And here, let's put Sun Drunk here. Hmm, let's actually put this one up here at the top as well. So we can kind of compare that to the nude. You can see it's gonna be more peachy. And then here's the other shade with Sun Drunk. And again, it's gonna be much warmer than the rose tone, much more red, uh, obviously, than the nude shade. And then our last one here is Six of Flame. And here are the two rosy shades. We're gonna squeeze these in right here. So you can see that the lighter pink is more of a cooler tone powdery pink, but the deeper shade here is going to be a little bit more similar in tone. It's actually a little bit cooler, The this one here, a flame. This is gonna be cooler in tone than the one in the Soleil, but you can see that they you know, do have a similarity. So let's look at those mixed. So there's the two mixed compared to the Soleil. Overall, I have to say, I think this is a really nice blush, really great for summer. I love the subtle luminosity that you get with it. And I love the fact that it's not glittery, even though you get that sheen from it. And I think if the colors fit well into your collection, it's very versatile. I love the three shades, you know, separately and mixed, you know, I think they all look really gorgeous. And I think it's definitely one that is great, you know, for traveling because you've got that versatility and just like an everyday kind of thing. I think this is definitely something that I will be reaching for a lot. And I think it's a really great product. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and I will see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.